What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the podcast, the Stay at Home edition, which is uh, turning out to be really, really dope. What's up, guys? Hey! Hey, Scoop, you got a new background there. Yeah, you know, I'm an, I'm an aesthetic nigga, you know? Like, I made sure that I was wearing your top today. You Thank know what I'm saying? Which I owe you money Thank for you. still. I haven't worn the hoodie, but aesthetics are very important in our field of work. Yes. I feel you. you look good. Thank you very much. What's up, guys? BG, how, are you, how are you? I'm good on you, man. Nice. The famous, the famous turquoise uh, headphones. Yeah, <laughs> man. I, I think those headphones saved me from a whole lot of shit. Anyway, scoop. When I got to be busy moving around, I got to being a speedster, right? Nah, you. Nah. Ah. Ah. <laughs> 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 You got me all, you got me all mixed up. You know what I mean? We on lockdown, niggas. We on lockdown. Yeah. I'm on lockdown, B. Just because I'm in a penthouse don't mean I ain't locked down. Oh, penthouse. Yeah. Oh. Coming in like that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We see you. We see you. And with, yeah. the help. With, that, with that, we're still on lockdown at the moment. And of course, things are hot and heated on the socials. People are still out there doing their quarantine parties. The lockdown party uh, that's been trending, obviously, the most has been the one on Channel O. Uh, hit, hit it up by uh, Shimza and PA. Shout out to the boys for putting in the work. But things got a little bit sour this mm. weekend. I saw where that. a specific up and coming DJ <clears throat> was tweeting um, Shimza and asking him for a break. Like, yo, bro, put me on the lineup. The next lockdown house party, I'm going to be on. I'm going to be hot. Please make sure I come through. Shimza, I think, got pissed off, obviously, because this thing kind of escalated. It went too far, and he was like, yo, bro, and tweeted him back, and he was like, hi, man, stop harassing me. Um, so everybody, Wait. obviously, Twitterville weighed in, and they were like, ah, oh, dude, you didn't have to do that. Why were you so rude? Nye, nye, nye. And then um, Shimza was obviously just, like, kind of defending his tweet, saying, no, there's hustling and there's harassing. This guy was basically coming at me. My mentions were full of this guy. And there's nothing he could do because the show is kind of pre-recorded. So I think now he was also just, like, frustration of note. So uh, fast forward, this DJ also then decides to tag Black Coffee. Black Coffee replies and says, oh, don't worry, my brother. I'll put you on a little bit of a platform. It's him to do a <laughs> And he was on a different Ooh. channel. Um, so the DJ finally got his break. Black Coffee gave it to him. So but also, cool. over and above that, then other people started jumping on, similar to what, they, remember the KFC wedding, where everybody yeah. was jumping on, no, I'll do this, no, I'll do that, I'll give you this. Kakasi yeah. came through and said, we're going to give you a nationwide tour. Capello opened him a nationwide tour. Audi offered him a car for the tour. Gagasi oh, offered him a residency on the King's or the drive show, whatever drive show that they have Wara on Gagasi. Yes, Wara's the show. Yes, what is the show. That's dope. Sorry, yeah. I still have King's Drive in my head, but that's not what it's called anymore. It's called the it's called the drive. Um, that. Yes, that drive. This is all happening from tweets. This is all on Twitter, my nigga. This is what yeah. happens when you log out. You don't see what's happening. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm also officially logging like this week I'm logging out for shizzle. Yeah, we'll please. Get back to you. We'll get back. We're gonna get to your tweets just now. No, no, no. The tweets I the, the tweets I put out today being Sunday when we're shooting this. Um as I said, just for closure, I had I'm done. I'm officially done now. That's 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 where it ends. Whatever happens after this is conversations, is whatever, like, you know, I'm not a petty person. I'm always willing to speak and whatever, but that's where it ends in terms of how I feel. Mm -hmm. mm. Anyway, back, back to the, 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 the Sega Omuropa, you know? Back to the Sega Omuropa, yeah, I think that's his name. I don't think the guy's upcoming DJ, because I went through and I listened to, he's, he's very underground. I think he's been an underground DJ. He's been doing it for... A few times, maybe not so many years, but he's been doing it. You know, I think maybe I'll just dive in deep into my research, and um, I don't know. He's you know, for, got a cult. He's got a very. He's got a cult following, and yeah, yeah. And let me tell you, he's he's from the free uh, the free state. So something something about small towns. I say it's because I'm from the Val. So even till today, the the Val people really really mess with me because it's a small town it's we're, we're 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 always different and we have to support our own you know it's 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 just not commercialized um it's it's not big cities it's not a durban it's not a cape town so even what 
Durban does, what people have been complaining about over the years, I kind of get it because every city is technically like that. So he had literally the whole of the free state backing him because he's been doing festivals. He's been, I mean, you can take a, 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 a example like, like, um, like um, DJ, Nation. what's his name? Nation. Nation. Like a DJ Nation. Yeah. There's, there's a perfect example where a DJ Nation may not necessarily be the biggest brand in South Africa. However, he is if big. you know Street, yeah. about that gig, you, yeah. know, you know that he, that's his people supporting him. And every single artist in this country wants to be on that lineup. And that's, that's the backing that guy had. I, I checked out his profile. He's got 51,000 51, followers on, 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 on Twitter. Oh, and yeah. his engagement is crazy. DJ Siga. Yeah. Yeah. Getting okay. his engagement is crazy. He's got over 6,000 retweets, over 6,000 likes. Like, he's, he's really, really got some crazy, crazy following. So, so, no, so, with, so with, with the following, my thing comes in um, from a perspective of we all have been on platforms, all four of us have been on platforms where, where we can give a person an opportunity. Yeah. And people will tweet us every day to say, yo, please hear my song. Yo, here's the link to this tune. Hey, please, can you do one, two, three? Please, can you put me on? And it's one thing to have those types of tweets where you can do something immediately, where I can listen to a link and then be like, oh, this is hot. Let me see if I can play it this Sunday. Whereas um, that person was obviously then kind of at going at Shimza and trying to use that same idea with regards to the lockdown parties. But in this instance, there was a little different, different because the lockdown parties were pre-recorded. So it's not like you could add them to the lineup just out of nowhere. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm. So I think, I think it was also kind of difficult to kind of say, like, okay, we'll just add you on because they can't. They didn't even, at that point in time, you also didn't even know what was going to go on, if they're still going to extend, if they're still going to shoot more episodes. They're still, like, it's still in the air. They're still not, not sure. And I think it's also tricky from that perspective. But, but... I, I do that. think I do think Shimza's wording of how he replied to that guy was wrong. That's yeah. where he came off on the wrong foot, and he shouldn't have done that. Yeah, the same, the same, the same with the nasty thing is. Um, I I do say in my tweet that I apologize for how I said things because clearly how I said things was wrong, and I can acknowledge that. I can acknowledge that, but I feel like his response was tricky. Is it? <laughs> you, you you know, I started to think. Uh, um, you know, like. I think most of the thing is that, like, if you have such a platform, right, is it popularity before the art form or is it the art before popularity? Because I start to question myself where you know there is a specific community that you have. You know, Horio, this is the art. This guy pushes the art forward more than anything, but he's not popular. Is that someone that you want to have on your platform because you want it to trend? Or is it, yo, I'm going to get the popular guys, the cool guys, because my show will trend rather. But but okay, Vigi. Yeah. But Vigi, yeah. your question is valid. Wait, wait, wait. Are, we, are, we still, are we still talking about Shimza? Or are we, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Well, well, this, 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 yeah. So now, Vigi, I understand you. I understand your comment, ne? which yeah. is all fair. But it's fair if I can do something about it in the immediate future. Shimza can't do anything. The show was pre-recorded. It's done. Yeah. Well, okay, cool. So, 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 this thing about popularity and asking, hey, hey, uh, up and coming DJs, it, there was nothing that could be done. The show's done. And and the problem with it, the problem with it, sorry, the problem with it, the problem, sorry, let me just the, kill the, this. The uh, problem. I'm not trying to kill it. I'm just trying to also like speak on it. Speak. In terms of the the the, the Shimza Shandis, oh. no one knows. Like now, they will know it was pre-recorded. But everybody no, thinks... No, he tweeted about it. He tweeted two weeks ago that it was pre-recorded. Yeah, they, they said that they couldn't... We, we, we've seen your request. We do, we do acknowledge them. We unfortunately can't do anything about it because we shot this just before the lockdown in three days. They, 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 they said that from day one. But maybe people because forgot the tweet then. then. Maybe people no, forget the know. tweet. You no, can't no, no, forget. People, you can't people forget. forget. No, no, but... but, but, but forget hold a tweet. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There are some people that are not on Twitter as much Thank as you. other people. Thank you. So that guy I, was hounding Shimza on Twitter. But maybe but it's a thing. Him but, after, but, but, maybe you're hounding him after the tweet. Yeah. Yeah. As, 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 for, yo, for, for, for me, this is a thing, right? And it goes back and it goes back to, you know, we have the podcast. One day it is going to get back to us. 
do you understand? People will say some bad things because of how of your opinion or of how you've we've situated They've things. They've said it. They've said it. Thank you. When, when, especially with the A re situation, they said they opened it. <laughs> yeah, my slime. Don't laugh like that because you're now turning into something else. <laughs> you know, so they, yeah. You know what? So maybe, you know what maybe this guy didn't see those because I never saw those tweets. I never saw them either, Scoop. But with, with regards to what you guys are saying about like um, what people say and how people take things that are said yeah. on the podcast, this is something I've been thinking about like really, really deep, especially these past couple of days. And I've concluded that, yes, I am a hip-hop journalist at the moment more than I am a hip-hop DJ that releases music. If, 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 if that means that... Well, right to, now you are, really, under yeah, quarantine. Right yeah. now, as we speak, <laughs> I mean, I even, I'll even hold the music down. I'm a hip-hop journalist. Yes. Okay. More than anything. That's a, that's a big step to take, too. Yeah, more than anything. Because it ain't easy coming from being a DJ, making the music, and then doing the journalism route. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy thing to transcend to, but you've done it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, this, on the Shimza topic, again, wording. Yes. Whether he understood, like Noni, you said it and you were right. The wording, especially because of the platforms that we are on, we, especially us, have to worry about our wording. You, you know what I've learned, guys? I've learned to just shut the fuck up when it comes to just tweeting sometimes. Eh? I just hold back. I agree. Sometimes that we are tweeting, Jay. I've no, seen no, no. Tweet. Yeah, but That's I just hold back. That's yeah, because, because I've thought about it. Because yeah. I've thought about it. <laughs> no, but that's because I've thought about it. You know? I've thought about it. You know, I, I've thought about it because I can literally just let things roost and go, tech meow meow, call him a sepakatao. Hey, wait now. I can literally go that, you know? But at the end of the day, it makes my sala, your massa, you know, but. I wouldn't, you know, at the end of the day, it's just like, yo, sometimes people, and it's what I tweeted the other day, I'm like, you may tweet A, and someone will answer you Z, where it's just something random, and you're just like, okay, dude, I was not talking about it, or people will read your tweets in the wrong way, and it's actually a tone, maybe, maybe we don't know how to actually tweet, or maybe people don't know how to read, you know what I mean, it's, it's one of the two. Yeah, it's, it's both of those things, sometimes we don't know how to tweet, yeah. And we don't, we, don't, we don't think about the fact that people might not be accepting it or reading it in the way that we voiced it as. And it is a big problem. Do you know? Do you know, a, uh, know wait, 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 no, no, wait, wait, no, no, please, my sister, just hold on. The biggest thing for us to realize is that we have more to lose than mm -hmm. the average person. Mm -hmm. yeah. In our positions, in our appeal, in our... In our, in our influence, even sometimes when we don't, we don't want to not say anything or when we don't want to say things like that, we always have to be mindful and conscious of how things come out. And I speak this because it's something that lives with me every day because I'm a person that would love to say what I want to say, but I have to be wary about how I say it. And I've learned... That's the heart. You used to say whatever the fuck you had to say. I still do. I still do. I still do, but I don't do it on Twitter anymore. Because yeah. Twitter is content. You, you, you're, you're tweeting with a large fishnet. The people that respond to you are sometimes people that hate you. On get, Instagram, yeah. you're focused on the messaging because those people just want you to shine. I love yeah. Instagram. Yeah. That's so no. dope. That's so dope. That's so dope. Well, in the, the same breath, in the same breath, you know, with this thing, it's also very difficult because um, when it comes to social media, it's as if the people who follow you don't realize that now we're, you're also human being in the public space. Mm -hmm. And I'm not necessarily saying that what Shimza said was right because I do believe he, the way he he responded was wrong. So I don't I don't support his tweet. However, 
I do have to take it back to the fact that this person was constantly tweeting him every day, every day, every day. And sometimes I've also been mobbed before by Twitter, Twitter army, where they come to me, I play this person's song. Next thing I, your whole mention is I just mean, full of one I person's mean. tweets. Do you know what I mean? And so, sometimes you sit back and you're like, hey man, I need any. give me a chance to breathe. You know what I mean? And that probably happened at that point for Shimza where he was just like, but then the sad part is that us, we are now forced to sit back and think about what we're tweeting. We're not allowed to be human on social media, which is unfair. The, 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 so, I mean, I had a conversation with, with, with a couple of people about the same thing um, last night on House Party. And, and the, the, the problem comes because you must remember some, some brands, right? Um, Shimza, in his instance, his brand is literally built on hey guys, please come, please buy tickets to my one-man show. Hey guys, please buy this. Hey guys, please do, please retweet this, please support. Some other people's brands, I, myself, for instance, I'm, I'm, I don't like asking things, um, mm. especially on Twitter. You, you know, if I'm, hey, please give me 500 retweets for it. I, I don't like asking things. But unfortunately for Shimza, in this instance, his brand is built and based of him asking people on Twitter. Do, do, do you understand why it's such a, a, a big story? Because the Twitter people are now coming back and saying, hold on, maybe you're annoying us as well by tweeting every single day that we must yeah. please retweet your house party. So, so that's, that's another perspective I didn't even have myself. And I learned this from the house party that I had last night. So it's... it's, it's whoa, 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 whoa. No, uh, it's an app. You see, you're app. offline when I. I online. You see, put this forward convo. You understand? I, I know <laughs> you were about to, there, to make your way there. If there was a house party scoop, you would have been there. Oh, wow. like your GPS, my no, nigga. No, no, I actually would stay home, guys. It's about quarantine right now. It's lockdown. <laughs> no, it's a house party app. Not, not a real house. Stay in your position right now. <laughs> The, the, so yeah, there's also that part of it. So what what I've also just picked up as well, um, Speedy. You know, when you go back to um, this topic, it's 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 that um, with people, right? People think sometimes that you guys are in this space, you need to give back. You know what I mean? Which is not a which is not a bad thing, you know, because there are people who give back and there are people who don't, you know. And um, sometimes I just feel like um, with that guy. I would keep on knocking the door as well. You know what I mean? Sometimes I think for me, Shimza should have just ignored the homie and just walked away from it, you know? Because I would have just said, you know what? Let me just walk away from this guy. And no, no, it's, I, I do that. I, I get in millions of those, right? And I'm like, trust me, here's a good example, right? How many demos do you guys get? And sorry, guys. Yeah, sorry. Unota. Hey, Unota. Yeah. It's, it's real life. It's real. Yo, Nanda calling you? Yo, we need yeah. to bring that nigga in a combo. That episode will be two hours. Yo, I watched, I watched, I watched, I watched complain and complain. you with um, Tiyamo and uh, Pindi on uh, Mac G's podcast, which is basically one for the artist managers. It was very, very interesting. You should check, check it out. You should check it out. No. Oh, and then, actually and then and then um after all the after everything right after the ignoring it could have ignored it whatever but it also brings back like we've been saying like people are dependent on us no in terms also of getting out also people are entitled as well okay that's, that's also true yeah that's also true yeah. so in terms of like the the People are dependent on us and the entitlement. I feel like if the nigger didn't get a response after all this time he's been tweeting, the same way like a rapper would hit me up and go, yo, I'm nice. Can you follow me? I'm like, whatever, nigga. Yo, I'm nice. Here's a snippet. Whatever, nigga. What you do is make sure that this guy can't ignore you. So beyond just tweeting, Shimza, maybe then after taking it on a public platform, and this goes for anybody, whether you're a painter, whether you're a ceramic artist, mm -hmm. whether you're a DJ or a rapper. Then make a format where you're recording yourself doing a mix, then send it to Shimza on a DM on yeah. his website. Yeah. Niggas need to learn how to hustle. Your hustle is not asking for things anymore. Well, Show but me what you got. 
Yo, but the yeah. homie hustled, yo. You see what he got, though. Yeah, he hustled because he got himself sponsorships now. But listen, wait, 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 Okay. Feel me? So we right. can't mention it. Before right. that happened, dude should have just swamped uh, um, uh, Shimza with the mixes. Yeah. Like, right up. My nigga, this is how you hustle. In rap, Big Sean went to Kanye West radio interview and was standing outside. And waited for him. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? In terms of hustle, niggas need to know that asking niggas for help isn't enough. Show me what I'm going to help put in the work don't ask me show me hey this just is why like, this is why like it's still legendary just like us. how just, many niggas just like us wait, wait just like us we don't have no money nobody's paid us but we are doing the work we are adding service value to the country because the, by the time they like, come yeah definitely the time they come know. by the time they, they come like, Yo, we've been doing this and they don't they give they us the peanuts know. We want what's ours, oh. team? Okay. Shimza, Shimza should be should be smart enough to know how to respond to things like this. Then yeah. that guy should be smart enough and hustle important oh, enough to know what he needs to give Shimza to get booked on, whether it's now or later. Because my niggas, no matter okay, what we're going, it's okay, not going wait, 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 wait. Fuck all that shit. Um, Stogie, Stogie's uh, Freestyle Fridays, those things are really, really, really dope. I love how all the guys are making an effort, they're shooting it properly. It's nice, it's nice. Yeah. Um, my highlights Ginger Cho. Um, I watched uh -huh. Black Lace one yesterday, Black and Gravity Moss was also one of my Chitini. highlights, as well as Stogie himself. Those, Chitini. those uh, Kitini's yeah. hot. I can see the Kitini one, he came yeah. in. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. I, th I think what, what I love about it so much, it, 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 it kind of introduced me to a few new cats, you know, as well. And, mm -hmm. and to be like, yo, that, it goes back to saying the art form, you know? And I'm like, wow, like, these niggas really pay attention to detail, you know? It's, it's really about the art, and this is what they love doing, you know? And shout-outs to the Kandini. Like, the Kandini was one of those trill, you know? Uh, uh, what does Eli I mean? Um, that kid, that, that's dope as well. Stogie himself, and... Um, a quick fast and zitch. Slicker, how, how cool. Slicker. I was like, okay, slick. Uh, slicker, okay, slicker, slick. Okay, some rhyme. Slick. <laughs> slick, <laughs> slick, <laughs> slick. 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 Yeah. Shout out to Stogie though, because Stogie's always been like, he's always been the guy who's like holding the flag for the freestyles. I remember even when I brought him in for an interview last, last year, I think it was December time. And he was like, yo, like, can we drop the free? And I was like, okay, well, if you want to, you know, I don't necessarily make it like a must have. He was like, yo, when you have niggas in the studio, make these niggas rap. Because why, why are they in the game if they're not going to rap? Damn Stogie. Like, actually, Stogie. That's Stogie. Damn Stogie. Damn <laughs> Stogie. Like, why are they in the game if they can't free no more? I was like, yeah. okay, sure. Okay. And, and, that, and that brings the point. That brings the point. One of his lyrics in one of the freestyles was, I sent um, the, the proposal to your idols mm. and they haven't mapped up. Now I have a I have a I have something to say on that. Okay. Because shout outs to Stogie doing Freestyle Fridays. But if I'm an established artist that has sold albums, mm. if you give me your beat for Freestyle Friday, mm. I might not want to rap on it and I might not want to send it to your platform because I'm an established artist. I can rap and send it on my platform. You see, you. Maybe, maybe sometimes. This, this time obviously has revealed that outside of, outside of marketing and everything else that's outside of art, we really are looking at people that are about an art form or an yeah. about a skill form. And, this and, quarantine has showed. And if, if, if anything, those, those kind of things like the, the freestyle should be a, a, a mechanism to kind of unite us again. 
we've been speaking about we've been speaking for so long we were like oh south african hip-hop used to be united when it was the golden era where everyone was together and working together here we go get on the beat you know this this is the time to do it Yo, but no, at the I end have. of the day, at the, guys, at the end of the day, not everyone can freestyle, eh? For, for me, it's... There we go. <laughs> no, 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 those aren't freestyles. Those aren't freestyles. Those are written. Yeah, it's just but, like you racked it on the beat that no, Stogie... But, but, but maybe... It's not, it's not even about going off the dome because sometimes Stogie also doesn't. Like, he, he'll prepare, like, one or two lines. You know what I mean? So, it's not even about you literally going off and saying, yo, this is a full-on free. It's right. literally about, here's my skill. I'm going to show you what I got. Whatever beat you give me, I can flow with it and make it still sound nice. Some donor on skill. That topic, man. Some on, donor that topic, guys, on that topic, like I feel like the Stogie freestyles are the point and the basis of everybody that hasn't been getting the shine to record and send it to Stogie. An established artist, most of them that I've been speaking to during this quarantine time are working on new levels of music. So when this is over, they're going to flood us with that music. I spoke yeah. to Ricky. I spoke to AKA. And, and, and Tito just uh, tweeted the other day that like, spoke to AKA, the music. Guys, AKA. And I spoke to him about the Casper situation as well. What he told me is something that I don't want to say now, but I would love him to follow through on what he said about how he felt about the tweets that he did. And I don't want to speak about it now because I will be taking so much away from his personal growth. But then he played me music. This nigga got an album ready. And from my generational point of view, from my musical taste point of view, the homie is fucking incredible. The shit that he's doing is what amazing. Are you talking about right now? Okay. 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 Let's hope, let's hope it comes through because I, I think if people are not taking advantage of this time right now to actually work on the music, whether you are sitting at home and you're learning how to produce or maybe you're sitting at home and you're learning how to finesse a mic, whatever the case is, just as, as long as you're working on your craft, this is the time to be doing that. Don't sit at home and watch Netflix every day because you can watch Netflix even when it's not a lockdown. Hone the craft, let's bring hip hop back to the top. Let's, I think that's what's important at the end of the day for me. So but VG doesn't think hip hop is coming back, so we don't know. No, 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 no. So, so we a are lie. to hip hop. No, that's a lie. Yo, 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 hold up. He said it's gonna be R and B stars this year. That's yo, what VG said. R and B is overtaking hip hop. That's what he said. VG, hold up. Let me explain. Thank you, Scoop. Thank you, Scoop. He's not lying. Thank you, Scoop. Thank you, Scoop. He's not lying. Thank you, Scoop. The man ain't lying. Thank you, Scoop. He's Scoop. not lying. You know that it is. He took the job at Universal, so he'll never leave hip hop. But as a man, he has to acknowledge what's happening. Definitely, you have to acknowledge what the R and B alternative stop, 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 stop. space. Yo, you have to acknowledge what's happening in the R and B, the alternative space, the work that those Rick people put in. You know, it's Rick very. Tyler. Yeah, I just yeah. found a new nigga in the week. I got yeah. sent an album by a guy named I am Marcus Harvey. Oh, I was listening to that this morning. Oh my damn. Oh it's, it's okay, okay. It am sounds, I lying? It's alternative R and B. Am I lying? I think I, no, you're not. Listen. Thank you. And, and I'm gonna listen in to his him. sound, in his sound, yes, it's something you might have heard before via it's very similar to um, oh, Daniel Masego. sees, yeah, Masego, Daniel, but, yeah. But, yeah. Say, but then he flips it with the vernac, the harmonies, yeah. and whatever. He's still gonna grow, right? Definitely, and definitely. it's from Omora. Shout out to Alex, we see you, nigga. My hood. Shout out to El Pico. There's a new guy. There's a new guy also. Um, there's also a new guy from Pretoria that I checked out, who's also got like a little bit of a trap soul vibe happening for him as well. By the name of, I think it's Ify, or I don't know how you pronounce it. Ify. Ify. Uh, E-P-H-Y, Ify. No, yeah, so he's also got a new um, uh, EP out that's, that, that's on social, um, I mean, on iTunes, so you can check that out as well. It's pretty dope. He's from Pretoria. Hey, um, uh, I had um, Shav's Medallion on my show um, last night, so I listened to the album a bit before I spoke to him. Hey, it's sounding really, really good. Is, is it still is rapping? Nice. Is it still yeah, rapping? He's- I mean, rapper, he's still right? rapping because he's a rapper, but you can't expect him not to rap the same way you can't expect Drake not to rap. You know what I mean? Yeah. But what I dig, what I dig about Shams' new sound is the fact that he's listening now, and it's a it's a body of work. 
It's not mm. freestyle, 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 freestyle. So, you so, so. Hear, you can hear the concept. You can hear how he's put it out there. You can hear that each song has a meaning. It's got a direction. It's dope. Yeah. Punchlines, punchlines were great before the millennial. Now it's about the story. Now it's about the story. Stogie, Stogie punchlines us and he still gives us a story. You know, you know what, you know what's one of the hottest releases for me at the moment. Um, during, I mean, a couple of people have been dropping things. Um, yeah. um, um, I'm talking about a, a, a song, not um, a project. My the, my favorite release at the moment is um is Cap's new 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 song uh with Les and and and, and Malachi. Yeah. Malachi. I'm yeah. with that. That it's song, yeah, it's so hot. It's <laughs> it's liquor. Yeah. It's called liquor, yeah. no? Mm. Yeah. Nick, uh, yeah. Yeah. And guys, Cap has been doing this for a while. Cap Definitely. has been doing this for a while. Like a lot of songs that Cap has released have been like numbers. Yeah. Even that street music. You Look, know? It's a lot. So the video for street music, I was like. And I remember yeah. him telling us in the group, he told us the neighbor group, he said, okay, boys, I'm going to hit something just for the streets and then I'm going to give you the real one. And then like he told me like a couple of months ago and I said, okay, okay, okay. And when he came in, when he when he dropped it, I was like, "Yo, this is fire!" And I I think that he dropped it with the video as well because it just yeah. gives you the immediate like, the, okay, here's the, the story. The two, the two songs, know? if clubs and fucking parties or whatever ever get open again, and we get to you know jam. The, the the two big songs for me that I am definitely going to play as a DJ is Casper's Amadimoni and Cap Song. Those for yeah. me are the highlights when you talk about releases, singles, not not projects. Crazy, yo! So the, there they go. I, mean, I don't want to. I want. I don't want to deviate there from the. Since we're talking go. about since wait, wait, wait but since we're talking about the Twitter thing, my nigga Speedster, talk to us. Yeah. Um. There, there they go. Is hot, but um. I, I prefer um. Audio, uh, audio sizzle. Like no cap. I love that song. And also another song I have to mention is uh, Loki's section. Those those are hot, like I, I love hot, Loki, man. Some really hot releases. Yo, SPK up. just released a project. Pardon? SPK just released a whole project. No, just a, a song, a video. Oh, did he release it right now? He released a project. Oh, okay. I think. I might no, be wrong. It was it was a video. Oh, okay. no, I, think it was uh, just I just want to shout out the fact that he's wearing a hair on Preston hoodie and a. A cold wall jacket, and, and they're shooting, and they're shooting the vault. Uh, they're and shooting they're the video in the vault, the in the vault. and it's a uh, 6 director. It's it's mm. beautiful. Everything about it is beautiful. I also want to yeah. give a shout out. A shout out. We we keep bringing him in the conversation and then bringing him out. Focalistic, really dope. Uh, quarantine Tarantino. Um, I like the fact that he's also. You can hear like he's kind of like back in his zone. He's in. He's doing the music himself as well, and it's just like you know what. This is just music for just the lockdown but here you have it this is a side of me as well because obviously people were just like piano piano but he was like okay but i'm still doing this rap shit you know what i mean let's go. so let's go and Shout he, out. He, he he after my long coquette for me he's merged those genres so beautifully yes. together and to be confident enough to release during a because Foka releases Foka makes music that you want to party with yes the fact that he can release that during a lockdown means he's so confident in his and, and he just bought a car. He's nice. He's shiny. Yeah. Shout out, man. What happened with the Major League, Shandis? Wasn't he with Major League? Yeah. I think he's still what under happened? Major League. What do you mean what happened? I don't see Major League being tagged. I don't see them pushing. No. Um, he's, he's focalistic now. It's, it's, it's you know. Um, he's running his own brand. They but he did not sign to major. He launched him. They can't now like hold. He's got to be focalistic. He's focalistic. I think, it was, I, I think it was more of a mutual agreement situation as opposed to a signing. I think it's it's still a signing because if you look at uh, all the songs from 19 to to whatever, if you look if you look on iTunes, even it still says Major League Music at the bottom. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad. I think, it, I, think there's been a shift. I think there's been a shift. Why I say so is because if I'm willing to record an artist, push an artist, then he releases something during these serious times and I don't push him. And the he only, doesn't... No, no, they, they're still pushing him. The, the only difference, I, I spoke to Foka before the lockdown in the club. Okay. We, we chilled like maybe two Sundays in a row and he told me 
long story cut short the only difference maybe why you, you may feel like that is because he's now got his own studio at his own house as opposed sure. to before where he was working in major league studio um all the time and sure. he was really really happy to have his own setup because what what started happening was a lot of people started stealing his juice there's a lot of things that have happened with songs that i, I won't get into it where you know um you know, he felt yeah, like he felt yeah, like please. you know, some you guys are sucking my juice, and you guys think I don't see it. He he sees it. He it's just that you know he played a composer. He said, you know what? I'm new in the game, whatever. But now I have my own studio. All of the juice that I have is going to go into my music. So the relationship is definitely still there. So oh. and then, and, uh, sorry, no, no, go ahead. No, I was also going to mention that the boys from Durban Dream Team also have been uh, dropping. Uh, lockdown music apparently they're dropping music every single week uh yeah. and this is going to be just a mixtape it's literally giveaway music it's not like it's an album it's not a project for them to actually kind of push like that but they're just saying hey don't forget us we're still here we're still giving you music and they're also going to be doing some like behind the scenes situation yeah I, I watched the one episode it's actually really really cool they he break they break down the beat they show you how they made the beat it's really really dope guys dream team i feel like were one of the groups in rap that we're actually going to change rap from being a isolated one man sport to a group sport. And then obviously they went back to Durban and what they've been, what they were able to establish in Durban with Benny Maverick, who opened up a restaurant on Florida road, they did sneaker events, you know what I mean? And they were re and then they, they took over envy because Durban was really boom. Yeah. Like hip hop didn't have a clout. Yeah, you know, forty-seven hell is down. Forty-seven hell is down. But you know, dirt in general is really about the boom sound. When I, Dream I, Team I went back to, I understand. You must, be, you must be that. When when Dream Team went back to Durban, I was hurt because I felt like they still had so much work to do in Joburg. But then I was happy with what they established in Durban again. And I mm. Trey is a very talented songwriter producer, and I feel like he might come into his fold again. And he, as much so, as Dream Team doesn't release, Trey is producing for a lot of artists in the game. And he's yeah. there in the credits. So you know, Dream Team, shout out to you. You know, um, um, I understand why um, sometimes the, um, the, the Durban artists get really, really mad when, when, when things just stay in Durban. Because even for Dream Team moving to Durban, I mean, I, I was listening to, to I was listening to Wobbly's song. I was I was listening to the Dream Team releases, whatever. There's there's this energy that's that's that that's going on in in. Ah, in guys, ah, guys, ah, guys, ah, guys, and big and big and be silent. That's oh. super lovely. There's this, there's this energy that's going on in Durban where it's like the sound is just different because of how they live, like. It's 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 nice. It's it's really really nice. Even in the music they make, you can hear that all the German people relate to it because they they feel it. Like it's really it's really really nice. It's really really just like <laughs> time. So I understand why they 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 get frustrated when they when they shit doesn't blow up like nationwide. But in terms of G Team, the stuff they're making now, the content, the things they're saying right now in terms of the music, I think it's great that they're back in Durban and and really. Yeah. really quick. So I, I, I don't see it as a bad thing for them moving back because oh, those niggas awesome. look they, they good, you know, they got they got families, you can see they, they're in touch with themselves and with their family. And they look, also, they, look, they look happy here. Yeah. They yeah. look happy yeah. here. And they're not but pretending. Also, they're not also, pretending also, for also, anyone. Yeah. yeah, but outside of that, I also think they're getting that home ground support again. I mean, like uh, Scoop had mentioned, they've basically given us, uh, well, they've given hip-hop a home, which is uh, Envy, Envy on a Sunday. But also, Sasso's House is also really huge, which is a, another entity that they've kind of created mm -hmm. for themselves. And also, over and above that, the music is still hot and it's still popping. So the fact Even that... The Rockers say, latest release is hot. It's that shit yeah, is fire. Oh. Junior, the Rockers' new song was also... Oh. Beautiful, oh. Eggs and Beast. Uh, Beast is another person who's underrated. My gosh. Fair yeah. too. Yeah. Fair too. Fair too. So surprised to see that Unitic uh, produced Hello. Eh. Oh, oh. hey. Yeah. Hey, Battle. Oh, so, oh, so Lunatic. 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 Yeah. Okay, but you got it. Sorry, before I know you, you guys have been just going off. Before we go on topic, <laughs> right? With the stogie thing, so I'm gonna go back to the freestyles. My bad. 
you know. Um, I will, I will say this, you know, for me, what I've pinpointed as well, yes, it is the art form, and yes, you're not as much as the big guys are probably not putting it. So there's a difference when guys write songs and there's a difference when guys can rap. You know, I feel like yes, there's a difference. You know, that's that's one thing that yes, also the guys just needed to put out there. Like, yo, as much as maybe I am not lethal like that, you know, but I do know how to make a hit song, you know, and that's my space. And I'll tap into the space, you know. They shouldn't just try, run here, I'm going to make a hit song, I'm going to do this. Because your favorite rapper can rap, but if you check the hit songs, like, yo, you don't have hit songs. And that's, yeah. you see, that's a very important point. Yeah. We know niggas can rap, but can you make songs? Rap is about punchlines and alliteration, similes and metaphors. Go to your fucking English encyclopedia, find out what that's about. <laughs> but making songs is about melodies, yeah. choruses, hooks, yeah. and harmonies. Yes. You can, you can rap the whole 16 bars, which is what Nasty does, but then he gives you the melody and hook in the chorus. Yeah. Speaking of nasty, speaking of nasty, speaking of nasty, let's go, Speedy. No, I, <laughs> I have. You've been uh, saying I have. I have nothing. Like I said, everything I said. Um, I'm closure. That, that's that's the closure, and I will never. Listen. Like I said, as I said, I'm a hip hop. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I will never. I will never ever. I know I love you. I am listening to you. I'm saying I will never ever take away from his talent. I I, I would be a fool to do that. I will, I will never ever. I mean, I've been. Mean, I'll bump the shit right now. I I I I. He's amazing. He's dope. That's good, that's good. But also, we're 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 human beings, and we gotta treat each other with respect. And where I come from, that what I mean by that is 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 that it, it, it as much as maybe my wording was 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 wrong. Um, no, him knowing the, him yeah. knowing the backstory. He could have handled it different as well because it's the same thing as saying Shane could have done the same thing because I put him and Shane in the same sentence if you remember Shane could have done the same thing you know so that's that that's that was basically my response just be like yo man look um, I guess moral of the story is that I fucked up by via my wording how I said things how you handled it was cool whatever then the interview thing just kind of showed me that like actually you don't see me and maybe what you said you said because of a personal thing so if you want to get a personal if you want if you want to do it like that then let's do it like that kind of a thing but wait 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 here's my thing that's where it here's happens. my thing that's, here's my thing here's my thing i think after you said what you said then it went out from the podcast to the people then you got the backlash and then he said what he said then we addressed what you said and you and you took you and you and you expect you explained it. I think the problem is the tweets about the interview. Now I say that because if I am involved in that, and let's say I'm nasty C and your speedster, I won't lie, my nigga. I wouldn't do the interview as well. Just mm. based on I don't know what yeah. you are on, you don't know what I'm on. And yeah. yes, this one, is, one the thing one, is, one, the one, thing one. is, the thing is, it's a misunderstanding on both ways. But yeah. when, when the, I mean, an interview is like, I have to talk to you like it's cool. Yeah, no, so Scoop, listen, so here's, here's, the, here's the problem. Like something people need to really understand about my tweet, right? The whole day I asked Jaws, are you sure? that this interview is going to happen because this had all just happened a couple of days ago. And George said to me, as my producer, they said, Nasty's team said it's water under the bridge. Then later they came back and said, oh, we didn't realize that Speecer is no longer with Lutz on the show. So in their mind, they were going to speak to Lutz on the show and I was just going to be there because this had just happened a couple of days ago. That is the crux of my tweet. That is the crux of my story. But do you, do you, after what happened, do you, are you mad at them for that? Because after uh, what happened, as I'm saying, if I was an artist, it would touch me a wrong way. But because I have to speak to you about things, it, about my plans, about my vision. Even if, even if Roots was there and they weren't talking to you, you still would get the credit and the follow on the show. But if I had an argument and a problem with you, even if it was on Twitter, I want to ask you, would I, I personally wouldn't do it with all this. I wouldn't do an interview with you. 
But if loot was there, I would talk to loot, and maybe that be a that would be a way for us to get back on common ground. But no, I don't think that we that, can be bad at that because also because also when Nasty has a team of thirty people, it's like twenty people, VG included, and then it's like <laughs> ten people with just him and his camp. So yeah. maybe when you said let's do the interview, they were talking to the camp. Then maybe when no, no. Reached him, I, 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 we we never even asked for the interview. So that's the other part of it. Do, do, do you understand? We never, we never asked, Who asked for, the for the interview. Who asked never for the interview? Never requested, requested, came for the interview. Who asked obviously for it? A couple, obviously, a couple of days, a, a couple of days ago, prior to whatever happened, I think it was Thursday. Okay. So the in, the, the request came before Thursday. But That's my nigga, after after, and like I say, when you speak to Nasty, you speak to the team. When it finds him, it's like yo. But even just us, just think about it. After everything that happened, how would we then do an interview where I can be so open with you? Yeah, mm. I, I, I still, I still conclude that it was, it, it, it was supposed to be a phone call. You know, we, um, him and I need to get on a phone call. I'm, I mean, I, 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 up, I up. If you didn't call him, why would he call you? Why am I calling him again? Why is he calling you again? Exactly. Oh, then let it be no, that. No, but you see, no, no, no. But speedy, speedy, speedy. This is where I disagree. This is where I think you are wrong. Because at the end of the day, I understand it started on Twitter, so you finished it on Twitter. I hear you, one hundred and ten percent. But you did mention in your tweets, and you say there that no, at the end of the day, you're still a little kid, whatever. And you and you bring up his age. You as the older person also need to then man up and say, okay, since you're going to bring that up and make it a point of contention, pick up the phone and speak to him. Mm. Okay. All right, I'll, 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 I'll take that. I'll, I'll take that and I will get on the phone with it. So, I will. So, so, I'll, so take, I'll take the owl for it. Speedy, Speedy. For real? Speedy, it's not you taking the owl or anything, you know. I think, you know, I, I've also been down this path, you know. Um, I think it's, it's on both you of you. You know, I've been down this so. Yeah, you've been on this down. Yeah, but it's, it's upon <laughs> both of you guys, right? And, and it's both you and him that one of you guys... Hey, more, each other more, no, no, more than so, both. Wait, wait. It's about... More than both, it's about him because he drew blood first. Okay, fine, cool, true that. But you could just pick up the phone and call him, or he could just pick up the phone and call you and say, "Yo, homie, you know, sometimes what we display out there isn't what it is. You know, it shouldn't be that way." But anyway, just sort it out. Be the big bro, or yeah, you know, I, I'll, I'll get on the phone. <coughs> call because, him. Because, call because him. now, because yeah. now, let me tell you what's gonna happen. Not gonna. What? What? As a nigga in the game, and you know this, man, Speedy, you in the game for a minute now. When you release that song and tweet the way you did, it calls for lawyers to get involved and labels. I mean, I mean, I mean it's a free song. It's not, it's not being, it's... Yeah, it's, 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 I, but you are telling Speedy, you say call I, Jason. I, 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 understand, I understand how you see it. Wrong, I, get you, I, get you, I get you, I get you. I get you, my nigga. You know, I get you. My nigga, I'm wearing your top right now. There they go. Southside, there they go. You know what I'm saying? I got love, but I, I don't want I don't want us as people who are for the culture to start now digging holes for the culture to fall down. Yeah. 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 And you like you said, you're a journalist now. Mm. A journalist is called to a deeper, higher up, even though the, the ego you must just put aside mm. and sort it out. Yeah. Because no, straight up. I, 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 everything you guys have said right now is, is, is straight up. It's, it's, it's the truth. You were, yo, love off Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going like, to call I, you I, love off. I told AKA the same thing. I said, fuck. If you had just wrapped this thing like composure, you would have gotten a poetic license to swear moms, swear pops, good. But you tweeted it. So this is not music anymore. Mm. And you oh. failed it. Speedy, you... Back, back in the day, when AK had a problem, he composured it, which is still being performed today. Mm. But then now when he had a problem, he tweeted it. Which, me, which seems like, yo, are you scared that you're losing some power? You feel what I'm saying? And it's also more personal when it's tweets as opposed to music. It's where you can get personal. It. 
I I can't. I don't. I don't know how to rap. I can't. <laughs> so Mpanaka, <laughs> Erko Obota here. If you don't know how to rap, be like me. Wabo, but we tap a one two. Don't listen to DJ. 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 Don't listen to you know how it works in the game. Universal signs VG. Then, univer- then the competitors go, hmm, who can we sign? On Sony. Yeah. On Warner. You can hold that position. Yeah. You can run Sony A&R. And you compete can. with VG And be you on can. the same show with VG. It helps yeah. the game. You can. Yeah, maybe. just keep your fist down, please. VG, we've had oh, this no, conversation. VG, no. we've had this conversation. I've Please, never no. been a physical. I'm, I'm, I'm not a physical. Yeah, yeah, anyway. I can tell you ain't taking no punches on the face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. We, yeah, no, we've no, been no, soldiers out skin. here. We've been soldiers no, out here. What does Drake call it? What does Drake call the light skin joint? Like when he was on the... When, when he was on Oprah. The light skin privilege. Whatever he called it. You've got extreme light skin privilege. And you've got an American jawline. Also, an American jawline. Don't okay, sleep listen, on the American jawline. Thank about me. Thank you for watching the podcast. Um, we ain't done. Uh, we ain't we're done. Up, no, we no, too long. No, Marulo and Somizi is something we need to talk about. Oh, shit. But the episode is going to be too long, eh? Um, well, let it be too long because people are not going anywhere. Are you deciding that by yourself? Oh, no, we, I'm deciding oh, because of the people. Look at how people are responding to the hour-long convos. Hey, Scoop, you're trying to be a president out here. I see you. Mm. Look at how people are responding to the convos. But they have also have been saying that they don't have data to watch all of it. They have... They oh, have and that's speedy. Oh, bring a big out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not going to talk about so easy. We're not going to talk about so easy. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, for an entertainer, to have privy to governmental uh, rulings. How does that sit with you guys? Do you think he was privy? Let's also start there. Yes, I know he was privy. You know he was. So are you also putting it on record like he put it on record? Just hold on. Let me not say that. All I'm saying is, the man said he just spoke to things. Mm. And then he apologized and said it was a joke. If you know Sumizi, you know he jokes like that all the time. But if you know but, entertainers, but, they always lay serious shit under a joke. Yeah, that's the, the thing is, Noni, sometimes what the public, how the public would take it, they probably say, but wait, Umbox was at his wedding, so that means they're all friends. So, hey, wait, that means it could have happened. You know, it's, it's how people perceive it. Maybe it didn't happen, but if you said, hey, yes, Umbox did one, two, three, people will probably believe you say, oh, because you guys are close friends with Vichy. I said it on the podcast. I said it. I said, I heard the quarantine's going to be extended. Mm. Nothing. But I didn't say I talked to a minister. <laughs> okay. Okay, my bad. This is, this is, this, when you talk to a minister, it means that, it means that, it means that if a country's going to get bombed, I'm calling a nigga saying, yo, expect all your money from the bank. <laughs> but also also exactly that you've just made the point scoop you've just made the point you said on the podcast it's going to be extended everybody was saying the same thing i don't know how many tweets i, I saw where everybody was tweeting we're going to get an extension we're going to get an extension the difference is a name was mentioned which was a joke on ig live not on some also, 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 I have a problem with that IG live, but we'll get to that in a moment. Finish your point. I was with Pinewa last night because she was playing on Mlu's show, which is after my show, and we had like a long conversation. But, but I, I, I didn't want to, I didn't know how I, I was like, I let me just buy my own business. <laughs> you know what, my call is, do you know what my call is with the IG live? Ne? Oh. Oh, good and well. Like, we all do it all the time. We're on social media. We're in our radio shows. We want people to see us from different angles, from a digital perspective, as well as on the radio. But if you're going to go on a platform where people are watching you and you've got close to a million followers on that platform, best believe you need to make an announcement when you get into studio and say, guys, we're on radio, but when we're off radio, please remember, I am on IG Live. Because, Mina, I want to talk what I want to talk when we're off air. I can gossip when we're off air. But now I, can't, I, don't have the, I don't have the freedom to gossip because now your live is on. <laughs> it's, it's like us. 
We talk about a lot of shit here when VG hasn't pressed record yet. Exactly. But when you record, what do you say? The, the, I'll, problem I'll, is, the problem is, so easy, it wasn't so easy's IG Live. But he didn't know. That's what I'm saying, is that you also exactly. spoke not knowing that it was on. But it doesn't mean that it wasn't true. <laughs> but at the end of the day, at the, at the end of the day, people, or did people pick like record it immediately? No, it was recorded on D- Dinero shot an IG live when she was basically off air yes. or on air going on radio. But that IG live then recorded Somizi talking to someone else, telling them that it's going to be extended, and he heard from Fix. Yeah, but I'm That's saying, why, he after, why didn't they delete the IG live? Did they? Again, IG. that's the problem. Because then the truth was <laughs> there in the pudding on <laughs> social. Yo, let, but, me but, this call. Yeah. let me just answer this call. Let me just answer this call. I just want to ask, why did you not delete the IG So, so, so. I get it, go. Hey, get it, go. And then diamond, and then go. <laughs> so I think I think it, it always goes back to that's one thing we always do, right? And I think we've picked it up. Whenever you walk into a room, you know who's on your phones, who's doing what. So you guys better not be tweeting, better not be insta living. I think we've learned too much. First time it was with the homie MT. You know what I mean? So I oh, think first time it was Marcosini and Faith and Getty. Then it was MT. Yeah. So we've hey, learned hey, too much. Marcosini and Faith Getty. When they when the video know. dropped. Whoa. I don't know. No, they now we're being a gossip show. I, I yeah. thought you no. knew that. No, you but you brought it up. Me. No, you brought it up. What we do on the show. No, because I assume that you intact with. I mean, no, we're not. Oh, Scoop is offline. He doesn't know. <laughs> so tell me what happened. We'll tell you after the recording. Yeah. <laughs> Just Google oh. it. I want to guys. I want to buy <laughs> I don't know what with Marco so, 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 do you guys feel like it was right? Uh, Umbax was correct to laying those charges. I think he was put in a corner because, okay. especially of how how you um how the other ministers were dealt with with um Ustela and Mdu when they had their little lunch and then she had to publicly apologize and she's been suspended for two months. Oh. So I think he was trying to protect himself by saying, "But I didn't know he was going to say that." So let me rather protect myself and go and report this thing and put an affidavit to the police station. But I think he was put in a corner purely because he accepted the apology first. And then later, at three in the morning, there's a statement out on Twitter saying, no, he's late charges. Well, firstly, why is the statement out at three in the morning? <laughs> Secondly, why is he laying a charge after he's accepted the apology? Because yeah. that ain't diamonds and that ain't gold. It's pressure. No, no, I, it's pressure. I, I can't comment much on I, I don't these are these are hectic hectic ones. I well well it's pressure. Maybe it's a thing of Loni that yo, maybe we made an example with A, so we might have to make an example with you. But he probably said, Yo, I'm But then if they're making with, examples if they're I'm making a, examples of people, I still have a problem with the way they dealt with um, Minister Stella, I forgot her surname. Um but I have a I have an issue with the way they dealt with her and her having her lunch with with Mduma Nana. Because at the end of the day, all they got was a slap on the wrist. It was a suspension and them to actually sit at home for two, for two months. Whereas people on the streets who are told to lock down, police are coming in, they're bum rushing the events and they're arresting them. Why were these ministers not at the same time? Oh, okay. You guys are also citizens. You guys are also citizens of the country. We're also going to arrest you. Why are they getting a slap on the wrist and getting a suspension? When our cop are getting arrested for going to church on Easter weekend. There's a murder case in Alex because the cop the cop killed the person. I mean, l- listen to that. No, guys, have you seen what's happening in China via Africans? Yo, that's a whole like, other conversation. No. Afric- no, of course we have to speak about it on the show. <laughs> There are African niggas getting beaten up for nothing in China. And also China is not allowing outside citizens to buy medical. I'm talking masks. Let me not take it to medical stuff. They can't buy masks. They can't buy gloves. They can't buy sanitizers. China is beating Africans that are on the street. China is here in South Africa. In Africa, we have not entered into a xenophobic vibe with China, even after this talk. But we entered into a xenophobic vibe about our own brothers. 
brothers and sisters. Are you referring to all Asian people being from China? What do you mean China is here? Hey, there's a China mall for a reason. No, no, no. I'm talking about China. I'm not mixing my words, my nigga. China is here. You look at the sign, you look at the news, China is here. And whenever this thing comes <laughs> out, no one was saying, hey, let the Chinese go out. But we in, in their country, they're killing us. They're beating us. It's on World Star Hip Hop. Oh, so you are online. We are, we are the, uh, on World Star. We are the last country. <laughs> we are the last continent to get this whole thing. Yet they're beating our motherfuckers up. Nah, that's not cool. Yeah, okay, oh. that's the wrap of the pop course. Thank wait, you. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's before, another one. Before, no, before, before no. One. Okay. No, no, no. So. Okay, before, before, guys, you know what? Um, um, you know what? I want to give thanks once again, guys. You know what? It's Easter weekend. So um, it, it's one of those weekends that we have to give thanks, especially what we're going through um, in the world, you know? Not actually, again, guys. Full of thunders, you know? Um, but we just have to um, value ourselves and know ourselves more and also know the first commandments, like the two important commandments is obviously love your God with your heart and soul, you know, and the second commandment would be love your, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So um, I think the most important thing at this time is all well, the situation is taught me those things that you're not, let's pray, all of us, and love oh, God so with our heart and soul. Oh, that's my, that's my let's just hold each other's hands like virtually and just pray no. for us, BG. Um, No, you no, can't. Jesus, but yeah. um, dear God, we thank you for giving um, us this opportunity as we have um, right now with life. Um, we thank you for everything that you provided us, Lord. We, yes, we've taken things for granted, Lord. But dear Lord, as human beings, we do thank you for bringing your son to come and he sacrificed himself for us right now. And through this Easter, he has risen. And everything that lies ahead of us right now is something that as human beings, we should walk forward into knowing and acknowledging the love that we should have for each other. Be rich or be poor, we are human beings at the end of the day, we're supposed to love and respect each other. Amen, guys. Happy Easter holiday. Amen. Hey, after after gonna, the God, gonna, after I'm God and Jesus. Phone. I'm going to get on the phone and, God, call, and call Nasty. Nasty, please, nice my dog. Please, please, my please, Lord. Number, VG, I know you got it. Yeah, I'll text you his number, don't worry. Please, my dog. Please, my dog. We'll do, we'll uh, do. On, the, on, the, on, the, on the subject of religion and tradition, Look, not Jesus Christ a swan. But what my ancestors. Amen. One love. Guys. One love, guys. See you Thursday. Thursday, right? Yeah. Cool. We'll be back. What a show. Speedy, you're, you're a big show. man. You're a big man for what you did today. Oh, wait, you're I a had... big man for what you did today. I had I I, I had to recording VG. I'm recording it, don't worry. Please call her. Please call her. Because you guys gave it you you guys it broke it down for me, you know, and, yeah. and I'd 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 be I'd be crazy to be ignorant and not to hear other opinions on how other people feel about it. So one hundred percent. I love you for that, my nigga. I love you for that, my nigga. Lenny, who are you texting, Noni? I'm reading the tweets. <laughs> you got a boyfriend now. Yo, Noni, you got a man now. Oh, I'm right. reading, I'm reading Nancy's timeline if I'm not do, do you know how many people's hearts you're going to break? What? Scoop? She's got what? Noni, do you have a boyfriend? Did you stop recording? <laughs> no, you're not recording. Noni, do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> I can see you recording. It's in the corner. <laughs> Noni, do you have a boyfriend? Or you, you want to claim him? Or you want to claim him? Do you have a boyfriend? Or you ain't claiming him? Or you ain't claiming a nigga? Ah, I see how you're rolling. You're gonna be tapped. the waxing niggas. Ah, you ain't claiming it. Ah, whatever. Bye bye.